recording, yep. Um, and I guess I'll use chess.com analysis board to show some of the games I've played recently. I'm not going to have this on except if I need it. So recently, in the, the last Monday, I played in a King Co. Chess League game, which is a league where all the high schools in our area play. And then I went to Minnesota last weekend on Friday and Saturday, and there I also played some games. I played one league game for the Twin Cities Chess League for my team, which my uncle's also on. And I'll start off by showing the better game, or the game I thought was better, the one again in King Co. Um, I, playing white, I guess I've decided to return more to E4. So we start off normal, and as I've pretty much always been playing here, Bishop C4. And my opponent made a slight inaccuracy in playing Knight F6, which basically guarantees that she'll have to hang a pawn after Knight G5. And my opponent did not seem to know this theory or know anything about this line. I think she probably was like 1600 or something. I'm not 100% sure. But she didn't really seem to know what was going on. Because after this, she took the pawn, which is fa a sort of a famous line, but not generally known to be very good. Even though it's not actually losing, I mean, the general consensus is that white's better. And it's sort of hard to play black, although I'll say it's pretty hard to play white too. So, But white is probably slightly better anyways. There's two moves for here for white. I mean, the most fun one is the obvious knight takes f7. It actually turns out d4 is also pretty decent, but, I mean, it's, that's not really fun. That's boring. That's winning and I don't know how many moves. So I just go with this line, the normal one, and, of course, they have to take. And then queen f3 check. And I don't, I don't know if I've ever had an opponent play the right move, which is king e6. Most of them end up going back with the king. Because the thing is, you need to defend your knight. If you lose your knight, you're just down a pawn, and you really don't have any compensation for it. My opponent played queen f6, which just gave back the knight, which is not a good idea. Of course, king e8's no good. I've won a bunch of games this way, but of course they were in the scholastic level. Um, I mean, the only really sensible move, and obviously best move, is to protect the knight. You can't just agree to lose your knight. Then, of course, white would attack it. And black has to know how to defend. This is the most accurate. And after bishop b3, c6, um, and then this, it's like some... Ins I think d4 is the move. I think. After which I'm pretty sure it's d4, and I think that white has like some huge advantage. The engine is exaggerating. I think it's only like plus, I don't know, 0. 0.5 in reality, but it's pretty hard to defend as black. Um... No, no, I messed that up. Also possible is to try this, but I think that was... Was this refuted by d4? I think it was. So, anyways, it's still pretty tricky for black after king e6, but he has to play it. And after queen f6, I just did the simple, take it. My opponent played, went back, and then I just took this. And then we went entered this endgame. And after playing d3, which I think is best... I eventually ended up winning. I think we played a bunch of moves. It was sort of a long game, but in the end, I ended up winning it. Um, so I was pretty happy with that game. My team ended up winning four to one. I think our board one might have lost, but or was it our board five? One of them probably lost their games. We still won four to one, and I can even show the standings for the Kingco Chess League. And we're still dominating the league. We're Newport. And as you can see, we're four points ahead of... And we're playing Skyline next time. We're four points ahead of them now. I think we're probably going to crush them. And thankfully, unlike the first week, I was able to help out my team. Now to the second game. We now take ourselves to a journey to Minnesota, to the Hamlin University, which I think is in St. Paul, if for anyone that knows what that place is. Um... Here I was playing for the Twin Cities Chess League, the team Rochester, what, B, B2 or not B2, you know, sort of trying to be funny with the, well, none, none of you have heard of Hamlet, obviously. Um, and there I was playing board four for my team, which consisted of three masters, and usually they had one of my uncles also playing board four, and, but he wasn't able to come, so I ended up playing for him. I can try to load that up there. Oh, I think I already had it right there in that link. But there, Twin Cities Chess League. And anyways, okay, that spoiled it. But going into this, our team was actually winning the league. We were two and a half out of three for match two and a half out of three. And the second top team actually had two points. So we were, if we won the match, we would basically be guaranteed, you know, still being in clear first. There's still another three weeks, but I mean, pretty nice start. And so the game started. 
I waited around seven minutes for my opponent to show up, and sure enough, he did with an opening trap. Again, I played white, and we started off like this. And, okay, I must admit, I was not very smart with how I played this position. I mean, d4 is okay. If anything, I should probably take back with the queen to trap him. But then I just ended up not knowing any theory. And so, sure enough, after this, we just, I just didn't have anything. This is the main move. And I, he did castles, and I decided to castle too. Um, before I explain why I did that, I should show you that most players are in this stupid queen a5 line. And after that, f3 is not very good because of queen b4. Turns out white can still equalize with, like, what, some knight bd5? Or even taking it c6 might be safe. But, I mean, nobody's none going to know that line. Accelerated dragon players really do tend to know these stupid traps. But my opponent did the other trap. I thought, okay, I can't do I just decided I wasn't going to play f3 because I remember all these weird traps. But I ended up falling for another trap. Blech. And I'm pretty sure this was a good idea by Black. I'm pretty sure the engine will like it. Or maybe not. Yep, I think the engine agrees. This is bad. Because knight takes e4. Well, likes knight g4? No. But yep, knight takes e4. And I guess I'm already worse. Which is too bad, because I liked. I wanted to win this game. There's a few lines to consider. I could take on c6. Or I could just recapture... I mean, it's it's a, it's a re really not a good position to play. I probably did not choose the most accurate way to play. But I thought my position here wasn't that bad, is it? But it turns out it is bad, because Black, if he feels like it, can just push his F and his E pawns and just get this huge initiative. Well, I can't really take advantage of his weak C pawn. So I would have to hope for some errors by him. He protected his pawn, so I protected mine too. And then he did Bishop E6. I wasn't... I was fine with that move. I was more concerned about bishop a6, you know, and then he would, you know, rook d8 and then maybe f5, e5, which I have a feeling the engine would agree is really annoying. Like, I'm thinking something like this. And then, I mean, I think this is really annoying. I'll see if the engine likes it, because the engine is always right. No, I don't want the evaluation. I want the lines, because it gives the evaluation anyways. Okay, well, I guess that was... Okay, whatever. There's some Okay, there's some quick trick, whatever. Either way, I think the point is that he has this really annoying initiative. Okay, I should stop using this engine. It keeps proving how wrong I am. Um, and after bishop e6, I played queen a4. It was suggested after the game, maybe I should just do queen e c2 immediately, and that's probably correct. He played the most obvious move, and I, do, I realized I didn't really have anything. I mean, I'm sure this is just no good for me. Oh my goodness, are you serious? No, this engine takes forever to load. I didn't really know what I should do here against this silly plan of f5 and e5. I played queen c2 because I had some ideas where I wanted to keep this bishop protected while maybe, what was it? What was the playing c4 at some point? But it, and my plan probably ended up being too slow because he just decided to do a sensible plan and double up. Um... And then I oddly took, which was probably not a very smart move. That was not good. I'm surprised there's nothing better. I probably should have just doubled, and that was my initial intention, but I didn't really like that either. But my opponent wasn't perfect either, because he took with the rook. Which was pretty nice for me. I was like, yes. And so I pretty much immediately played c4. I think he was initially going to play rook h5, but he realizes that doesn't do anything. So we ended up going back. Which, I guess, is the best move. Oh, man. Um, I played rook a b1 because I'm preparing to protect my pawn. And then he decided... Was this where I missed my game-winning opportunity? No. And then he did queen a5, which just forced me to play a move I was going to play anyways. So I was like, okay. Um, and then a6, I guess, hoping that he doesn't... I don't know. I guess he doesn't want me to take that pawn. H3, I don't care about you, engine. You keep proving me how wrong I am. Um, and then queen e5. But I don't think this is a very good move. Well, then I might, I might play b4, so you might have to do it at some point, because I had this idea. And then he played rook d6, I guess, which makes sense. And now I missed it, which was probably a um, pretty much winning opportunity. I took a d6 hoping to target the d-pawn, but it, as reveals revealed later, I think c5 might just be winning the game on the spot. 
I mean, because my pieces are just so powerful. Maybe the computer doesn't see, but this long-term plan is super dangerous. I'm just going to activate, he takes, you know, I just activate my rook and my queen and just, you know, penetrate, and he's just... This is an awful position. Ah, who cares if engines defend? Why am I still using the engine? Because um, the point is that um, after something like this, it's just really hard for him to prevent my plan, which is maybe rook d7 or else queen d3 to d7. And I, if I win the c6 pawn, the game is practically over. And his rook is basically out of play for a couple moves. After this, the idea to target the d pawn was clearly not very smart. I mean, especially after bishop f8. And I play bishop e3, hoping to get my bishop back into play. And after this, I sort of realized that I didn't really have much at all. But I played queen d2. One of my reasons was the tactical point, queen a5, which to my luck, he ended up missing. So in the end, he went back, which I did not think was a good move. I don't think this was a good move either. And this rook endgame is... This should just be lost for black. But I am not as good of a player as I can be sometimes because I king h2 is probably okay as I play in the game, but it's probably better for me to do king f1. It's really hard for my opponent to find much to do. I mean, he can do some, like, nothing things, but it's really hard for him to do anything concrete, like if he just goes back or something. I mean, I probably can just bring my king to the center, and it's sort of hard for him to stop me if he goes f5. Then he's just creating more weaknesses. And, I mean, I can, yeah, then probably just, like, some rook d7 stuff. And he's probably lost. This is fine for me, but I end up losing my way eventually. I mean, here, why didn't I just do rook d7? It was just really stupid. Oh, well. Um, yeah, I was just, like, blah, blah, blah. I just was trying to time him out. I was up 10 minutes here, although I ended up blundering all of them later. So this is, like, a good position, right? But I just, I'm not really seeing methods where I could win by just putting my rook in d7, like back here. I mean, if I just did rook d7, I think he's just in huge trouble. I mean, there's no immediate win, but this in the long term, this just looks really bad. I mean, I'm not 100% sure what the best winning line is. I guess the engine will help me. But yeah, it agrees. If he goes to e8, that's not really much of a threat, right? Yeah, I mean, and if he tries to defend, I think he's in pretty big trouble. I can just bring up my king, in fact. Really? King? Wow. Yeah, I guess I can. Who cares about if that guy wants private chat? I'm trying to analyze a game. So the game ended up reaching this. I played rook d4 because there's some lines where I want to attack the pawn. And if he defends, he can, like, kick my rook back. So I decided I might just do rook a4. My other plan was to do rook c4 since I figured a rook trade would make this position an easy win. Or so I thought. In the end, it was showed, or I realized, that the rook ending was not so winning for me. No, of course he didn't do king d8. That loses the game. Because after this, he sort of has a blockade over my pawn. And this is the position where it's unsure. Was I winning or was I not? And I'm not really sure even now what plan I should do. Because I can either play in the king side or the queen side. But, I mean... Which, I mean, how do, what's the best way to proceed? It's sort of unclear, I have to admit. So after this, I decided to do f4, which, okay, really was not a good idea. There were ideas of marching my king back, but that was actually sort of hard to make it win. But still, it probably was better, because what is black going to do? The thing is, it's going to be hard to make improvements, because if I get my king to a4, he can try bishop d8 stuff, you know? And it's, and it's sort of an annoying blockade. Um, in fact, I don't even know if it is breakable. I don't know if the, what this thing will think. It might just be a draw. Seriously, why are you recommending bishop c5? That just shows that's just an engine. Okay, well, this thing probably... Well, even plus 0.9. I mean, that might not be a win. So maybe it wasn't a win. But the way I proceeded in the game was making it pretty obvious it wanted to be a win. It was some very suspicious play. F4, and then... He was fine with that. H5, trying to create some barrier. And I just don't have any way to break through. I mean, I probably just rushed everything by doing this. But, yeah, I probably should keep... I should keep pawns on the board. I'm not sure what I was thinking. But either way, I don't have a win here. This thing... Now it's just a, really a draw. 
and because there's it doesn't seem like there's really a way to improve my position this thing will just suggest going back and forth and that's because that's what has become a draw so I tried my last winning attempt but it wasn't actually a very good one because he just played all the right moves and I just found myself with no way to improve my position as I'm going back bishop d8 bishop e3 And he could have just taken in g5 immediately, but for some reason he chose to delay it. And then he took in g5 and offered a draw. Well, nothing I can do about it. So I accepted. And thus was not able to convert what should have been a definite winning position. Well, there goes some analysis with me. And that was sort of a disappointing game. Because, I mean, I probably was winning that at some point. And still falling for that stupid trap. Wait, I should find a how to refute it. What should I do now against it? I think I should just play f3 after castling. I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's see. Blah, blah, blah. This thing takes forever. Wait, is that the... That's not the line where I can take in c6. I don't think it is. Let me see. Let's check and always give me some ideas. Yeah, I think I should just take with the queen anyways. That could be really dangerous. Even this thing agrees. You know, that's the problem with this. I think queen takes d4 is actually really dangerous. But whatever, I don't want to reveal my secret preparation that you all just saw. So no, wait. Oh, knight c6 is the main move. Okay. Pull the boring. Okay. Interesting. So I guess bishop c4 is still the main move. And if he castles, I'm supposed to play bishop b3? Oh, okay. Does f3 work or not? No, f3 does not work because of d5. Man, this, this is crazy. So I have to play bishop b3. Well, no wonder he just out-prepped me. Who's going to see that move? And then d6, and then... And I can still do a Yugoslav attack? I guess I can. That's actually interesting. He does have an extra move, but I'm probably still doing pretty well. Wow, this is actually just like whole new theory. And basically, black sort of has an extra move. Except my bishop is not attacked on c4 anymore. It's like a weird way of playing the dragon. Wow. And I haven't even castled yet. So this is probably what I should do in the future. Wow. Interesting. Theory is always showing me new things. Anyways. Yeah, that's game analysis with me. The first games, I think, that were analyzed. And I hope that I enjoyed it. And actually, I think I sort of did not. But hopefully I do in the future. Maybe we can have something where you guys all submit your games and I try to analyze them. I don't know. But anyways, you'll see me next time in my next video. Or you'll hear me anyways.